conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking? Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. I don't know how I feel about this place. Ow! That just... Really? I... What? Did I just... I think I hurt somebody. Like for a split second. What the hell is that? Rock. We've got to break the chain somehow. Wait a minute. Nice! Puzzle solving! Oh, gotta do parkour. Gotta get some dynamite. I guess it drains the rest of the water. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research such as anatomy studies, alchemy and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. More like haunted ground, am I right? Ah, jokes. No fish monster, so we should be fine. Can I just... Nope, would have been too easy. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Oh boy.
water is lethal. Watch out. Please damage me. Oh, oh, they probably will. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Hey, got an achievement. Pipe worker. It's a me, a Daniel. Chess. Was this here before? Post of silence. Might have been it. The red taint burst from the walls as if they had begun to bleed. He cried out in fear as the spectacle began to consume the blue shimmer. That might have been it for the water one. At least I hope. Ow. That was a good thing. Was that it? Yes it was. Cool. There should be no monsters in here because <laughs> what the ah <coughs> Like getting poisoned? <coughs> ow, ow, okay, okay. Maybe maybe don't go down there. Come on in Rome. Yeet! <coughs> go down! Okay, gotta go for vaccine. Okay, hang on, hang on, Daniel. Okay, okay. I'm still good. Okay. Guess I have to go over there. So how do I activate it? Do I? Oh my God! There's another lover here. I gotta inject myself with random chemicals. Excuse me? Hello? Okay, here, I'll just stand on top of it. I'm gonna jump on top and just.
See if we can use the hammer. Okay, cool. Nice. The morgue. Alexander knew that there must be a way to finish the ritual before it was too late. He had to teach his friend to harvest the vital. That much he had to know. I am slow at reading. How did you know? I'm also cleaning my glasses and my eyes starting to burn. Ah. My left eye. Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. What? The shadow. It has. For now. Come. Let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. Two tinderbox. Dead bodies. Monster, or just a change in the environment. And that's gonna be the death of me. I just know it. Okay, hang on. I got. I gotta wash my eyes out. All right, I am back. I am turning off my controller. Why is it even on? I have no idea. Okay, and we should be good. Close the door, just in case. Play God break. The strange staffs, the strange staffs among the servants and the prisoners have finally been resolved. It seems that the drain sewer, which has recently been opened up for use as a means of transport, is plagued by, by a particular poisonous fungi. The victims seem to have suffered an extreme quick outbreak of sickness affecting the entire body. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully spared by the, this calamity, but it is clear that this cripples my progress. The prisoners quick die quickly, the prisoners die quickly, and they're contaminated by Thai lacks the energy I seek. I shall immediately start working on a vaccine. And we have to craft it, I imagine. God damn, this is a strong bottle. Oof. Hey, buddy. Body set from rigor mortis, and it can't be older than a day. I hear you breathing, Daniel. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? There, just. Whatever. Now. Ooh. What is it, body? Light headache. Dude, why are there so many dead bodies? They're not even preserved right. This is just sloppy. Seriously. Anything important around here? Flowers. He was reaching for something. Just been my imagination. Here, uh, cut into him. Oh god, oh, that was a joke, dude! Right? Not that enough to penetrate my skin. 
Why am I putting this inside of him? There's some there's gotta be something else I'm missing. Oh hey, a thing. Tender box, anything in here? Nope. Let's go into this first. I fear for Daniel, for he is reckless. He is tainted by the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this in the end? My love, I've seen evil in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? What cruel irony did I have to do onto him what Agrippa did onto me? The vaccine enabling my men to work in a fungi-ridden sewer is a definite success. Unfortunately, only a few of the servants have been remedied as the procedure proved difficult. The others will perish, and eventually I will have to create more of them to keep my experiments running. Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield long enough to pass the sewers without any risk of infection. It will be fine for, tri for prison transport. Okay, so I have to inject myself with some guy's random... I have to inject myself with some blood. Gotcha. Oh, wait, hang on. Like this. Perfect. Ow. Oh. Did I really just... Did I just drink his blood? Pretty sure I just drank his blood. Wow. Okay, cool. Oh, my fucking god. Hide in here. Here. Doesn't sound happy. God, I see the colors changing. Let's see him. He is real. Is he mechanical? I see him. Okay, I guess he went that way. What was over there? I do not remember. Oh, right. Nothing. See, this is why I keep saying they're just figments of my imagination. The purpose of the inner sanctum has always been to study the orbs and still find... A way to force them to yield their power. However, he was still unaware of this. Okay, I have the vaccine in me now. Now I can run downstairs and not get eaten by the mold. Yeah. After I drank some guy's blood, I'm now considered Dracula. Into the sewers we go. Henry Bedlow went to class carrying the anger of his bitter mother. He never cried. He never. He made others cry instead. Pain is like that. User becomes sad or become angry. Henry always chose the latter.